In this video, we're going to show beginning organic gardeners the benefits of having marigolds in your garden. And we're going to start right now. So in our garden, we like to bring more pollinators into our garden and also to have a dual purpose where it deters a lot of pests. What's going on YouTube gardening? It's your boy Sydney from the Naked Gardening Channel. Hopefully after watching this video, you're going to learn the benefits of growing marigolds in your garden. Now the calendula is part of the marigold family and the good thing about both of these they're going to bring in a lot of pollinators so you're going to have your bees, your butterflies and all your other beneficial insects that's going to be attracted to these. Also going to be uh, once they leave these flowers they're going to be going into your uh, flowers of our tomato plants, our pepper plants, eggplants and uh, so it's going to help kind of pollinate those. The other thing that you can use with the calendula and the marigolds are that they're going to be a dual purpose because you can use these as a medicinal purpose where you can uh, put these and make your own salves or your own tinctures and then with the french marigolds they have a chemical in their roots called thiophene and what that does it uh, deters a lot of the bad nematodes that's in the in your soil uh, that's going to be that you're going to be growing in now with when you first start out growing your marigolds uh, once you get anywhere from about seven to eight inches like this you want to kind of prune down so that way it, you can help uh, bushy out the uh, flower and have the flower bulb uh, get a lot larger and so we're going to be pruning this down and from the prune off here we're going to plant into the ground and can kind of like do our own propagating so the bad thing about growing marigolds in your garden is that they will attract spider mites and some grasshoppers now to kind of help alleviate and get rid of their spider mites and grasshoppers uh, you can do a neem oil spray and we did a, a video about that we'll put a link right above there and also description down in below but that way you can uh, help deter any of the spider mites and grasshoppers onto your plants uh, now we've also known that some gardeners will grow these intentionally to uh, have the aphids attack the marigolds only and not their plants. So that's another benefit of having marigolds into your garden. Now the uh, type of marigolds and calendula that we're going to be growing is going to be the Snow Princess calendula, the Mr. Majestic marigolds, the strawberry blonde calendula and the uh, jaguar marigolds now the ones that we already growing in here right now are the playtime mix calendula and the balls improved orange calendula and these are the key lines so what are we would like to know what are some of the ways and benefits that you use calendula and marigolds in your garden? Alright, so now we're going to show you how to direct sow your marigold uh, seed slash calendula. Uh, in here we have some old container mix and some of our compost, homemade compost that we've uh, built ourselves. Along with, so we're going to add some of this uh, black cow and some bone meal. The bone meal is going to add the phosphorus to promote blooms. The black cow is going to give it the nice organic uh, humus soil for it to uh, allow to thrive in. And we're just going to mix that all up 
and then kind of uh, amend it with this uh, bed in here and direct sew these. Now when you direct sew these, you want to go about a quarter inch depth and you want to do anywhere about 12 inches away from your plant so that way when your pest is basically either deterring the pest away from your plants or attracting the aphids to, own to, those, uh, to those marigolds, it's going to be very beneficial. And then you want to do about 12, 8 to 10 to 12 inches uh, spacing between each seed that you uh, direct sow these. So we're going to mix all of these up and then we're going to plant them down and wet it all up and show you how it looks from the The good thing about marigolds and calendulas, especially calendulas, is that they reseed themselves. So once you plant these seeds, and at the end of the season, after they're spent flowers, uh, the following season it will come back again. And while during the season that you're getting some flowers, and once you prune or deadhead these uh, flower buds, they'll become a lot more bushier. Now we do a lot of these types of garden tips. We'll put a playlist in the uh, corner right above here to kind of show you other organic gardening beginners uh, playlist that we have going. Now if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss an upload. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Until the next video, let's grow together.